Hello everybody, Saigon Cat here. Today we're going to be talking about relics. You've probably seen these void fissures by now. We only have lith relics, I, I believe. So yeah, y you can see which ones you have access to. We have access to Cambria because that's on Earth. All these other ones are locked. But our um, relics are how we get prime parts, and they're also an early way of getting forma pretty easily. And to see what relics you have, you come over here to your void relic segment. And I think this unlocks after you get to Mars, it might be after you get to Mercury. And you can see the different eras of relics that you have, and this is, it also determines um, the difficulty of the mission that you have to do to do it. Uh, lith fissures are easy, mezzo relics are medium, neo relics could be considered hard, and axie relics could be considered extreme. Um, naturally, by the time you get late in the game, even axie relic openings are pretty easy. But to start off with, we're going to take a look at lith relics. Each of these relics have a selection of possible rewards. And you can see the percentage chance over on the right hand side. So we've got a good chance of getting Valkyr Prime Blueprints, Lex Prime Barrels, Forma Blueprints, which at this point of the game, I'd probably go for the Forma and, you know, cross my fingers for it. Uh, and then the, you have an uncommon chance for Cernos Prime Blueprints, Ak Bronco Prime Links, and a rare chance at getting an Ak Stiletto Prime blueprint. Now each of these relics have their own drop tables. So all A2 relics are going to have these possible rewards. B5 relics are going to have these possible rewards. Lith C3 relics are going to have these possible rewards and so on and so forth. Now a lot of these relics are on kind of a rolling uh, drop schedule sort of I guess. Um, you, you won't always have access to finding the same relics. They uh, they vault certain warframes and certain weapons, and they take those relics out of the loot tables. So uh, here's a good example, actually. Lith, C3, Chroma Prime. Chroma is currently in circulation. You can currently obtain Lith C3 relics and whatever other relics are required to put together a Chroma Prime. But after a certain amount of time, those are going to get taken out of the drop tables so that you will no longer be able to get the relics to get Chroma Prime. And instead, they're going to introduce some other ones. And that happens on a fairly regular basis. So there's kind of a timetable on unlocking certain things. Now, just because Chroma Prime is going to get vaulted soon, I'm pretty sure, um, <clears throat> doesn't mean we're never going to have access to Chroma Prime again. We just have to wait until those relics become unvaulted and Chroma Prime becomes available again to hunt for. Now, if you have these relics, these relics don't go away when they get vaulted. They're not going to get taken from you. It just means you can't get any more while they are vaulted. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to... Uh, jump into one of these. We're going to do a Lith Relic. Now, this is a spy mission, so hopefully this goes okay. Um, normally, I would do Relic Runs co-op. I'm not going to do that right now because this one is a spy mission and everybody should have access to this. So there's a lot of people who are probably curious about Void Fissures and jumping into this one to see what they're all about. And we're gonna just go ahead and do this solo. Um, another great reason, you, you always want to do these in a group because at the end, you will get to choose not only from what your own relic opened, but what everybody else's relic opened. So you'll have a wider selection of rewards if you play your fissures in a group. So normally you'll want to do them open or, you know, with friends. Um, and later on in the game's lifespan and, you know, further on, uh, like with Meso Relics and beyond, it's probably going to be safer to do that. But for the sake of this video and the fact that this is like the first spy mission available to folks, <laughs> I'm just going to do this solo. OK, 
because now there's two ways for this mission to go wrong. The way that these relic missions work is we want to obtain... Um, I forget what it's called. Lotus will tell us shortly. We need ten of them. Infiltrate data vaults and retrieve highly sensitive enemy information. There are void fissures in the area. Use these to crack open a relic. Yeah, the void enemies, they're very easy to notice. Yeah, these guys here. We're near a fissure. They will drop a special item, and we need to collect ten of that item to open up the fissure or open up the relic before we are done with the mission. Reactant, thank you. Thank you, Lotus. Yeah, we need to get 10 reactant drops to open up the relic. If you don't get 10 reactant drops and the mission ends, not only does your relic not open, you don't get to pick a treasure out of anybody's relic. So it's, it's really important that you make sure you, uh, you get your reactant drops. And in a team that knows how these things work, they'll wait. People are really good about waiting and making sure that everyone gets their reactant. Because Warframe has a great community. Nope, oh, there's some. So you want to take your time with these. Um, make sure you find the fissures. Uh, if you see enemies spawning, don't don't try and just kill everything as quickly as possible. Corrupted enemies from the fissures? Yes, absolutely. But if there's random guys running around, don't just kill them right away. Because if a fissure opens up near them, they'll all become corrupted. Ew. Ew, that's a nullifier. I hate nullifiers. I guess it doesn't matter much right now, because I'm not like... Excalibur doesn't care too much about a nullifier. Ow. But certain other frames get ruined by them. Where is he? There's another one. There's a corrupt... There's a, there's a healer around here somewhere. And he needs to go. There he is. Got a sworn, I heard somebody else. It's fine. We will continue on. Heads up. A Grenier assault team is headed your way. Oof. <laughs> Damn bombards. Nope, did I get... I got through it. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Okay, we have all ten that we need now. So we can actually just continue on with the mission at this point. 
and be done with it. I go the wrong way. How do I manage that? Whoop, whoop. I got ow. <laughs> I'm not interested in playing right now, excuse me. You're nearing the console. Trigger the alarms now and they will start destroying the data. Data extracted. They won't even know it's gone. Bye. Oh, he's chasing me. Oops. Oops. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, am I stuck? Uh-oh. Hey, we got out. I have never had that happen before. I totally didn't have to kill that guy, but he's a nullifier, so he deserves it. <clears throat> what nullifiers do is, uh... They shut off your abilities if you run into them. And, you know, for... For, like, Excalibur, that means if you run into him, it means your chromatic blade gets turned off. And you can't radial blind while you're inside the bubble. Things like that. For other Warframes, it means, like, instantaneous death. Like Limbo. Limbo is incredibly hard to kill, but he's actually made out of paper. So, if he gets taken out of his rift plane, well... He dies. And... There's not too much you can do about it if that happens. And nullifiers like nothing more than for a Limbo player who's become inattentive to uh, wander into their bubble so that he can die. Uh, Rhino has a similar issue where his armor, his ferrite armor, gets torn off of him if he goes inside the nullifier bubble. So... Could you not? Stop it! Okay, apparently I need to clear out this room first. I thought this was going to be nice and quick. Get him? Freaking rollers. Got it.
20 seconds. Can we do it? Ten seconds. Can we do it? Six, five, four. Oh no, the door is locked. Yeah, no, no. That's fine. It's fine. We got two out of three, and like Meatloaf says, two out of three ain't bad. Bet you guys weren't expecting a meatloaf reference in your Warframe tutorial videos. That's something you can only get here on this channel. <laughs> You're welcome. The 30 people who watched this are like, what's the meatloaf? Like the food? Are you referencing food? What does two out of three ain't bad have to do? with meat bread. <laughs> so there we go. Since we're the only ones in this mission, it just gives us what was opened up. Uh, if there were multiple people within this mission who had opened up their own relics, we would get a little screen where we could pick which one we want. And there's one more thing I need to show you guys. Because we also get void traces from running these missions. <clears throat> and what void traces do is we can use them to modify our relics. So take, for example, what was it, the C3 relic? Say, for example, look, we've got Chroma Prime Neuroptics blueprint, but it has a really, really, really low chance of opening up. What we can do, though, is we can refine it. And you'll see here that we now have 18 void traces that were gained from doing that mission. So what you can do is you can save up your void traces to refine your relics to improve the drop chance. So normally, so keep an eye on Chroma Prime Neuroptics. With exceptional, it goes up a little bit. Flawless, a little bit more, and Radiant, well, that's that's a much, much better chance, isn't it? I, I want to believe, I, I think that that changes it to like a 20% chance of dropping. What it might be 10%. But yeah, these uh, refining a relic makes a huge difference in the chances of getting what you want. And as that Chroma Prime goes up along with the Helios Prime and the Bratton Prime, the commons, the common drops on it, go down. So, something to keep an eye out for. Um, if there's something in particular you want, like your, your Chroma Prime blueprint, uh, it doesn't hurt to just, you know, farm your more common relics for a while build up a nice collection of void traces, and then make sure to refine the relics that you have with the pieces that you want into uh, much better relics so that you have a better chance of getting it. Saves you some time. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. This was your brief little guide on void fissures. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Take care.